Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Proctivity 2000 PLC Data Logger and Logging. The Proctivity series of PLCs has a built-in data logger. This accessible data logger will log up to 64 tag values on a USB or microSD storage device connected to the CPU. The logs can be stored in CSV, comma separated value, file format. Logging can be triggered by the rising transition of a Boolean tag, which is an event, or configured to occur at regular intervals, which is scheduled. A US storage device should be generally connected if logging data. The CPU maintains an internal 73 kilobyte buffer for temporarily logging data while no USB storage device exists. Data in the buffer will not be retained through a power cycle. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So Data Logger, Proactivity 2000. The Data Logger can be accessed in three different ways. Under the Monitor and Debug in the Application Tools panel, you can see the Data Logger. From the main menu, you can select Setup Data Logger. The final method is also under the main menu, Tools, Data Logger. Event Data Logging. The logging will happen on a transition based on the on status of a specified Boolean tag or bit specified in the event bit tag name. Scheduled Data Logging. This is selected scheduled data logging to log data based on time interval. Select from the following every minute, so your tag data will be logged once per minute, every hour, tag data will be logged once per hour at the designated minute, 0 to 59, once per day, tag data will be logged once per day at the appointed hour, 0 to 24, and minute, 0 to 59. Once per month, tag data will be logged once per month at the selected date, 1 to 31, Hour, 0 to 23, and minute, 0 to 59. Removable media file name. Enter the prefix of the file name for the USB device. The name entered will always be appended by dash mmddhhmm.csv, where the time and date are the CPU time and the date for the first entry. The CPU will create a logs file and save the log file on the USB storage device. Schedule interval to create a new CSV file. The name will be the same but the new date and timestamp. A USB storage device must be installed during a scheduled CSV file name change to prevent buffered data loss. Select from the following. Every hour, a new CSV file will be created once per hour at the designated minute, 0 to 59, once per day. A new CSV file will be created once per day at the designated hour 0 to 23 or minute 0 to 59. Once per week, a new CSV file will be created once per week on the designated day, which is the day of the week, Sunday to Saturday. Once per month, a new CSV file will be created once per month at the designated day, which is 0 to 31, hour 0 to 23, and minute 0 to 59. Log system errors, events, and file name. Select to log system errors and events and enter a file name for logging the system's errors and events. This function will create a text file containing system errors and events with the time and date the error or event occurred. Tag names to log. Enter up to 64 tag names, 32 per column, to be monitored. Each entry in a log file will include time and date fields. Our example will log the values every minute, so it's scheduled logging. The file media name will be ACC. The underscore year month day hour minute second dot CSV will be added to the file name. This represents the year, the month, the day, the hour, the minute, and the seconds. Every hour we will start a new CSV file. Log system errors and events to a file called PLC error. Our tag names will be from our sequencer example discussed previously. Hit apply. 
We will then use the upper X in the corner to close the data logger window. So here's the program that we created for the sequencer. You can note that all of the logging is done without a lot of programming. After running the program, we can turn the PLC to stop mode and remove the micro SD card from the CPU unit. Looking at the files on the card, we can see the logs folder. The logged information error and event files will be in the logs folder. We see the three individual tags with the date and timestamp by opening the log file using a spreadsheet program like Excel. Each record is separated by one minute, as we specified earlier. The error and event file will show when the new program was put into the CPU, the run and stop events. Portable memory device system bits. There are two system bits for the portable memory device, PMD. The portable memory device ready is used to determine the status of the memory device. The portable memory device eject is used to reject the memory device from the PLC without causing errors on the device. This built-in feature easily accomplishes data logging on the Productivity Series PLC. You can access your log data securely from any connected web browser via the built-in web server or have the CPU email you the most current data logs directly with the send email instruction. This will be shown in the future posts in the series. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to offer ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.